Today's repertoire topic is about methods for beginning players or maybe comeback players. And I worked my way through undergrad school by teaching, oh, about 60 kids a week at a music store and uh, paid the bills, but it was frustrating to me because so many of the uh, kids progressed fairly rapidly, but the method books that we had uh, and the beginning etude books, if you want to call them that, they, they moved along too quickly. So the, uh, it seemed like they were fine for the first four or five, maybe six weeks. But by the time you got past that, the, the etudes and exercises were way too difficult. And uh, in fact, some of them, if you look at them, you, page one is like whole notes with a whole rest after it and then another whole note and fingerings written underneath. And you turn to like page 18 and you're playing stuff only Harry James could play. It was just silly. So one of the things I did was I eventually got around to writing my 100 progressive lessons for trumpet. And this is designed for the beginner or comeback player. And it has 100 lessons. You spend one week on each lesson. So it's essentially a two year course. And I've designed in, of course the beginning uh, pages are very simple, just like the other ones. but it progresses at a, at a very slow rate. And what I like to do is include the chromatic notes uh, right from the beginning. Uh, a lot of these books, you stay in the key of C for two months, and then you learn one flat and then one sharp. So I go through um, exercises where you're just playing chromatic things now and then, so you know that these are the different notes. Now each lesson contains one or two little etudes, most of which I composed. Uh, it has uh, a famous melody because I think it's important that young players especially play something that they recognize. get bored if they're just playing exercises and little melody uh, etudes that don't make any musical sense to them. But if their parents can say, oh, I recognize what that is, you're playing such and such in a tune, uh, they feel good about that. And I also include a technical study, which may be just tonguing faster or finger exercises, little scale patterns or something. And then uh, there's one or two little factoids. And these are little things in boxes that give you just a little, little bits of information about music or about, about the trumpet. So that keeps it kind of interesting. Um, a lot of the beginning books I find are um, dumbed down to the young student. They have uh, pictures or drawings of, of bunny rabbits playing the trumpet and, you know, rainbows and, you know, all the little kids stuff. And even the kids nowadays, they don't really like that. Uh, so a lot of the students that I've talked to that have been using this book call it the big boy trumpet book because even though it's for young students, it treats you like, like an adult. And um, it goes through all the major keys, all the minor keys. In a, in a systematic way, and you learn grace notes, you learn all kinds of different articulations, uh, you get all the scale patterns. In the back, there are five pages of uh, uh, definitions of musical terms. There are several pages of musical symbols Um, 
note values, rest values, different time signatures. So all that is explained. And I think it's a, a really good book for beginners and it's, it is catching on. And I hope it will replace some of these uh, books that, that you stay in for a couple months and then you got to throw that one away because it's way too hard. You can go to something else, you end up buying four or five books and, and mixing them up. So take a look at this. It's published by Hickman Music Editions. Thank you.